Hello, this is Char from The Real Kitchen for Real People. Today we're going to feature Ken's Poe Man Salisbury Steak. And I'll let you know what he's putting in it because he don't want to talk. First he have in the bowl a pound of ground beef. I think it's the 93%. And then he added uh, salt and pepper and a little garlic, sea salt, and red onions is what he's cutting up in there now. And this is, is just great. It's one of my favorites. But he's the specialty in this, so I'm just being, we're switching uh, positions here. I'm being the camera man, camera woman. But as I said, this is one of our family's favorite dishes. And uh, it's quick and it's delicious. And he's we're going to add these onions in here. And then he wants to add, see the onions, ignore the telephone, please. Okay, now he's getting ready to add uh, his green onions in there. He's going to chop those up, clean that, them little skin things off and the little ugly pieces on the end. We don't want those in there. <laughs> Be sure to wash your stuff. Wash all your vegetables, all your meats. That's important. Okay, you want to chop those little tails off. And then chop your green onion. Like I said, this is the real kitchen for real people. There's nothing fancy about it. Just good old timey recipes that we've both learned to uh, cook in our long marriage together of 42 years so a lot of this you just trial and error you just try things be creative and uh, if it don't turn out right then you try something else or try a different approach but then you mix all of that up with your hands of course your hands are clean so you mix that all up together Okay, wash that stuff off your hand. Okay, and now we're going to get uh, a skillet out. And he's going to turn on his eye at well okay those little things get loose <laughs> I'm going to turn his eye on and then add some oil so you're adding your oil looks like about a tablespoon of oil in your pan that's over medium heat want to heat that up okay now we're gonna go back over to your meat mixture and you can beat on it some more and then you're gonna make round balls like a golf ball Maybe not like a golf ball, but this is how it should look. Round about like that. Okay. Let me just make several of those. Okay. Until you use up all your meat mixture. It's real simple. And you will definitely win the crowd over on the holidays that's coming up. It could be a holiday dish. Okay, like that. 
and I'll eat them all but one. <laughs> Because I like them so well. Okay. Okay. Now we've finished all of those. Then you can put them back in the bowl. Okay. And of course, wash your hands again. Okay, and then you back over here at your stove to check your oil, make sure it's hot. Okay, now that your oil is is heated, you want to put your little balls in your skillet. And I'll be pausing this every now and then just so you won't have to sit there and wait for this. So put them all in the hot skillet. Make sure you get all the goodies out. See how it's, you see how it's uh, cooking in there. Looks delicious already. Okay. Okay, while that's cooking, you come over to your board and chop up about a quarter of your onion. Depending on the size. Depending on the size of the onion. Okay. You want to wash it, of course. Okay. And you just want to chop it. And don't cut your hand or your fingers. Be careful chopping. Okay. Then you want to turn it on the side and then go back. That's why you get your little squares. Watch your fingers. Okay. Okay. Then once your uh, meatball brown, kind of move them around and check the side and make sure they're brown. You see that pretty brown? Turn them over. Okay. And you must keep your pan on the side if it's going to just make it better. Okay, stand by. Okay, over here with the onions, we're going to use a little flour, but uh, we're going to wait till the meat is completely done, and then I'll come back and show you how to make the roux. The gravy. The gravy. The delicious gravy. Okay, you can see how it's browning. So when you're browning it, make sure that the inside is not pink unless you like it to. Mm. So we, we want ours well done. So you poke one and just kind of peek at it. And make sure it's not pink. We don't like mooing cows. We don't like the mooing cows on, going down our mouth. Now, in the meantime, I'm fixing some mashed potatoes, homemade mashed potatoes. So you have to uh, turn on your fire under a, your pot to boil your water. Put a little salt in your water okay and then he's gonna cover the meat no he's gonna take the meatballs out sorry 
But now we're getting ready to make that good old gravy. So you gotta have mashed potatoes for that gravy. Or you could use rice. We've had it with rice before. Okay, we're gonna set that aside until you get and turn your fire down. But you're gonna get ready to fix your delicious gravy and you keep all that good stuff in there in the pan and of course you're going to add your onion that we chopped up earlier okay add that onion and then you hear it frying and we're going to add about um, we're going to stir those onions around in there so we can incorporate that good old glue down in there and that juice. That's where all your flavor is. So we don't want to leave that behind. Mmm, gorgeous. Mmm. Let those onions cook about till they're translucent. So it looks like about five minutes mm -hmm. on your onions. Okay. And then I'll turn your fire back up to medium. And pay close attention to your gravy. Prepare gravy because this makes a big difference in this dish. Because I'm still learning. But I thought I had an expert do it today. And the bean, of course. Okay, now we're getting ready to complete, and we're going to add our flour. And you add just a little flour at a time. Looks like maybe, uh, maybe a tablespoon at first, a teaspoon, and stir it around in there real good. And add a little more, just a little bit at a time, because you don't want it thick and chunky. So, just incorporate the flour in with the onions. Keep stirring. Keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. This is the trick to it. Keep stirring. See how it's browning the flour? potatoes and I'll be adding them in a minute. And see how the texture is. And as you do this it's just a really trial and error. It's kind of hard to say how much flour because it determines whether you want thick gravy or, you know, the gravy is kind of tricky. So now, you're going to take about a cup of water, start out with a cup, you might need it more than that. We're going to add a cup of water, a little bit at a time, and stir it. Stir it. 
stir and see how it's steaming up. bit at a time till you get it to the consistency you want. In the meantime, I'm over here cutting up uh, two large russet potatoes to add to my water. I'm going to add that to the boiling water. Okay, I've added my potatoes to the boiling water. So I'm going to cover them and let them come to a full boil. Okay, now back with the gravy. Salt and pepper to taste. Salt and pepper to taste. And then it looks like he's adding a uh, Tony Caesar's seasoning to it. You see the consistency of it? Tasty. And then you want to taste it. And it's ready. He said it's ready. Salt and, it's pepper, taste. Salt and pepper to taste. And, and now it's add ready. A little water. Add a little more water so when it's cooking slow, it won't lump up on you. Okay. Now we're going to turn the fire down to low and let it simmer. Okay. going to add your meatballs back to your gravy and this is called whole boy salisbury steak whole man salisbury oh, steak man salisbury steak don't ask me why but it sure tastes good let me move that can I see okay see how the how that looks don't it look great mm -hmm. we want that tonight Just cover it up and just let it simmer, and then you'll be ready to serve when the mashed potatoes get done. Okay, you can see here where your gravy is thickening a little bit, and you just kind of baby it. You just kind of spoon over, come back and spoon over it. Just constantly kind of pamper it a little bit. And then you put your top back on and turn it on low. Keep, continue to keep it on low until you get ready to serve. But you can also use any other type of onions in there. Instead of red onions for mixing your meat, you can use a shallot. A shallot is good as well. Okay. And as you can see, I'm about finished with my potatoes. They boiling. Okay. And I'm going to serve it with a little broccoli. And on the broccoli, I just filled up a little pot just of uh, warm water and salt and a, a tablespoon of butter and about a teaspoon of lemon juice. And then I just put my uh, broccoli florets in here, you know, cooking those so we can serve that with, with it for dinner this evening. But I'll get back with you when we get ready to plate it. You can see where it's simmering and on low. And it'll be ready to serve when the potatoes are finished. I'll cover that back up. My potatoes are done. I'll turn the fire out. And you can test it by 
poking one of your potatoes and they do that. Okay? Now I'm getting ready to drain my potatoes. Now I'm rinsing the starch off of the potatoes. Real good. Make the perfect mashed potatoes. Mix that off real good. Starch. Add one stick of butter to the pot that you use to boil because it's still hot at the, the bottom so it'll melt your, your one stick of butter. And then you put about a tablespoon, X that out, not a tablespoon, but a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. And then you add your potatoes back into your pot. Okay. And then what you're going to do is stir these up and mash, mash, and stir till they get to the consistency you want. Some people like loose. And some like them thick and then you can add a little milk in there if you like but most of the time I just use salt pepper and uh, maybe a little garlic salt and just mash them up until they get smooth so I'll come back with you when we have it and ready to go to the table to eat so stand by Now this is your plated meal for today. See how good that steak looks on those mashed potatoes? And of course you have the, the cornbread recipe and then that's just broccoli, steamed broccoli. So we're getting ready to eat now. So hope you enjoy this full meal. Thanks to Ken. Love, love. Be sure to subscribe. And hit that notification bell if you want to get more of these great recipes automatically. All right. Have a good day. God bless. Okay, this is the, we're sitting at the table, but uh, somebody's already eating. But this is our meal for today. <laughs>